Welcome to Rustic Cottage Co. I'm Julie and I hope you like my Facebook page Rustic Cottage Co, my group Rustic Cottage Co and my YouTube channel Rustic Cottage Co. This video is to inspire you. Please give the thumbs up, like, tell your friends and pass the word on. That will help my business. I much appreciate the time you're taking to enjoy this video. Please keep watching and let me know what you think in the comments and thank you again for watching Rustic Cottage Co from Julie. Have a great day. Enjoy the movie. Hi, I'm Julie from Rustic Cottage Co and this is my Christmas video. There's another one and I just thought I'd let you know how and why I do the way I do. In the winter time, I do less furniture and a little bit more of the actual smalls, what I call smalls. So that's home decor, Christmas ornaments, Christmas tree, displays, mantle and all that kind of thing. And I will be in the future doing the outside display too. But in this video, you will see a few of my displays, how I get the inspiration, where I get the materials from and also how I paint display it and stage it. I hope you get some inspiration from these videos and this video is some different ideas of what to do for Christmas. So we're going to start off with some of the Christmas gift boxes and we're also going to be doing a small little Christmas village and let's see what else we get up to. Let's get going. So I have these three boxes. I did pick them up from the thrift store. Um, I believe they were like 50 cents, 99 cents each, maybe even a 68 cents generally. Um, you can get them from the dollar store as well. I just picked these up. They were a good size to put together. And what I'm gonna do is paint the lids and the bases um, around all the outside in white chalk paint and then we're going to use some stamps. Just waiting for the coats, two coats of white chalk paint to dry on these pieces and while I wait for it to dry I'm going to be doing some catch up this week. So there's a few projects that I have had lying around that I'm going to paint up so I'm going to be doing them next. They, I have a ladder that I I started it in the spring, summer, I don't remember. Anyway, I still never finished it and now I have some inspiration for it. So I'm going to finish that today. So that'll be next. And I had these candlesticks. I don't know if you can see them here. That I have had lying around too. And I generally don't sell much candlesticks, but I do tend to sell them um, around Christmas time. So I want to get these finished. And uh, basically it's a little uh, clay top spindle from a chair middle. And then that bottom part there actually is an upside down new, picked it up from the dollar store, um, ash tray. So I stuck them together and uh, I'm now just painting them up. So next I'm going to paint up the ladder because I need to get that finished as that's gonna be the inspiration for one of my Christmas decors this video. So I've got these actual, there's a bird and a little hedgehog. I was hoping to pick up some more animals and I didn't see any. So I'm going to go to a different thrift store and see if I can find some more animals. Uh, if you've been following my videos, you'll notice that I like to do woodland in your winter kind of scenery with greenery, snow and animals. I did a reindeer scene on the mantle and I also did, <coughs> excuse me, um, owl scene on there with snow and animals. And Christmas time, I love to do Christmas, but to kind of just break it up a little and especially after Christmas, I also like to do the woodland winter wonderland kind of winter look then when you take all the christmas stuff down you can just keep up the actual wintry nature look for just through january and that looks nice it's all snowy inside and outside 
<laughs> Excuse me, I need a drink of water, I think. Anyway, so I like to pick up animals, um, birds and different things through uh, from the thrift stores and paint them white to make them look wintry. And I wanted to show you on this one because obviously a lot of the birds that you pick up are more spring looking, very yellow and even the flower here. So I'm going to show you what I do to get rid of the winter look and do more of a snowy look. Now I use my fingers and obviously I should be using a, a glove or something you know, at the same time. But I like to use my fingers because I like to feel, feel it and create the texture. So what I'm going to be doing is literally what I use is this spackling. And I like the pink one just for the reason um, that I know when it turns white, it's fully dry. So until then, I know to leave it alone. And what I do is just use my fingers to put it all over everywhere. And it's going to create kind of a snow on top of the uh, branch here that this little bird is on and cover the flower because we don't want flowers in winter and I just use you know quite a bit of the spackling get it on there rub it in and as I say I, I find you may have different ways of doing this but I find this actually I enjoy doing it and uh, I just love using my fingers to do it so I'm just going to put a little underneath here just so it looks less like flower and then when you've got it kind of all covered and then just use your fingers to just kind of get it all peeking up a little to give it texture and then let it dry just gonna put a little more on the edge of this one around here because again I really don't want it to look like a flower I really want it to look like snow now when it turns white obviously it'll look more like snow and once it's dry too you can literally paint it as well so you can give it more texture with the paint to make it look like snow too so there we have more of a snowy look. You can put some on the back too, which I'll do afterwards. I just wanted to show you this one. A lot of little cutesy things come with these tea lights. And yeah, I usually try to avoid them. Um, tea lights, just people are just getting sick of seeing them all over the house. And, you know, they don't last long. People don't use them. But I'm going to use this tea light little hedgehog because I love the hedgehog so I'm going to use the sparkling around here to cover I'm not filling it totally but cover the actual tea light area and give it kind of a Christmassy snowy kind of look so we can do some texture on here too and make it look like snow so just run your fingers over it as I say, I'm not filling totally the area, but I I want to make it look less like a tea light hole. And more just like a little bit of snow in front of the little hedgehog. A little bit more. And then once you put some greenery around this and some lights around it to hide the hole a bit more, it looks less like a hole too. But just let it just dry up and uh, then we will be painting it up. But as I said, I just do this just to kind of make it look less tea lighty. And I'm just going to do the back of this one here to match the front. Pile it on. just make it look like snow and as I 
say when it's white it'll look more like snow and uh, when it's uh, painted it'll look even more like snow so what i'm going to do next is uh, paint the bird and paint the hedgehog white because that's my thing and obviously wash my hands <laughs> so then we will find i'm going to find some more of these little creatures different kinds birds and uh, animals and create a winter nature scene so as you can see now there's actually a little still a little pink but uh, it's pretty much dry i mean i could wait another night but i think i'm just going to ready to paint it all up i've already painted the bird as you can see so now i'm just going to paint the rest and i missed a little bit on the bird so i'll just finish that up here i only did one coat on the bird so touch up i kind of figured would happen and then as i say just on the base just touch it all up cover it all make it look like snow all in there and then when that's done just dry it and then I would just put maybe a clear or a, probably a white wax over the whole thing when it's completely dry just to Secure it and then it'll be a great ornament for each year that you bring it out. So I'm going to do the same for the, uh, the little hedgehog. And then I'm going to look for other animals that uh, next time I go to the thrift store. And then when I get some more animals, I'll put them together. So I have finished the little birdie and I finished the little, oh, the cutest little hedgehog and I'm going to put it together. I have one of the deer, one deer left. I've sold all the others, but I have one deer left and I have one owl left, um, but I have sold all the others. It's been great. It's been an amazing month so far. Thank you. And so all the little animals I'm going to put together into a display. But this display, I'm going to add to it when I go back to the thrift store, because I usually go once a week. So when I go back next week, I'm going to look for a few more animals and a few more things to add to it and grow it a little bit more. So I think you'll see some of that in the next video. But for this one, I'm going to show you what I've got so far so that you can see the direction I'm going with it. So I hope you like this display. up these little houses from Dollar Tree they've been around for a couple of uh, years now I believe in the States they're probably cheaper than 150 but that's Canada for you they're always more expensive <laughs> anyway they're made of plastic and they don't come with lights they kind of they do have a warning in there to use bulbs and put them inside little tea lights out so I always put some lights in, you know, underneath. But what I like to do is to paint them with white chalk paint, which I am doing on these ones here. I've picked up a few of them. And I usually put two coats on as usual and then just paint them white. And I will show you when they are finished. And what I also like to do is because they are the generic Dollar Tree um, houses I like to go to the thrift store 
and just pick up some non-generic ones. These are actually bells, but um, I pick up similar sizing, but a few other um, houses too, just and put in the mix so it's not so generic that every house would have the same if everybody copied this idea and went with it we would all have the same and just as well go to a store so i like to mix in a few thrift store houses as well and then i uh, pick up some trees people and we're going to do a little mini village so let's get going so when i've finished painted all the houses of the village i painted all the little people and I even some of the Christmas trees that I got I got some from the dollar store and I got some from um, the thrift store I just added a little bit of white paint on some of them and then left some of them actually green so you've got a little bit of variety of coloring you don't want everything white but you want the majority of the look white and a lot of people say oh everything you do is white but that's not my kind of my thing right now is just that farmhouse rustic um but a white clean white look and um, more of a country white rather than a stark modern white but it's a country white so i painted all the houses painted some of the trees and i put a material that is i got from the thrift store and you can it's white but you can see through it a little bit so i put the lights underneath and uh, this is what it looks like now finished have two coats of white chalk paint on and next I'm going to do uh, some Christmassy scenes or patterns on them. I have the IOD Christmas stamps that came out. I believe they came out last year. Might be the year before but it's IOD Christmas stamps and I'm using uh, my favourite which is the stone grey chalk paint. I'm going to put everything this side i always go to go that side and then you can't see it so i'll do it this side and just put some ink onto your actual stamp put the lid on in between so it doesn't dry out and with these smaller stamps i cut them out when i get them with the backing still on and then i can just use it as is so i'm going to try without knocking you guys over stand up because i always do better with this when i stand up i never do good when i sit down doing this and i'm just going to put it pretty much in the middle here because it kind of fits the whole thing nicely this is bells christmas bells and some greenery it's got quite a bit of um, detail so i'm just going to take my time rubbing everywhere but try not to slip, move or change or anything. Once the stamp is down, you do not want to move the stamp. 
until you're ready to lift it or else you will get that double image or blurry image and then you're literally starting again. If you do get that, just paint over it with the white chalk paint and just try again. If you get a slight inconsistency with it, um, quite often, most of the time actually, I um, sand down with a very fine sandpaper the um, stamped image anyway, just to make it look like it's been there for a while, not freshly stamped, and that can get rid of any inconsistency too. So once you're done, pick up, and there you go. That one's finished. And these, you can clear coat them for decoration, or you can leave them just for, if you're putting gifts in them and they're gonna be thrown away, afterwards then you don't need to clear coat it but if you want to put them under your tree every year then give them a clear coat so the next one i'm going to do is a little bit bigger and this one i think i'm going to try and fit on the santa it's my favorite well it's my second favorite my favorite is the tree the christmas tree one and um, this is my second favorite i put it pretty much on everything anyway let's get the ink on You could use the um, black ink, and I believe even uh, they have now the uh, red ink would be really nice too. That would be cute. So I'm just going to, this is just, just going to fit on here. So I'm just going to kind of fiddle around to get it the best that I can get most of it on. There we go. Committing now, so don't move it. Take your time to get all the details, especially the face but don't move it, don't slip it, slide it, change it. Get on the detail of the beard. Make sure you push down the edges. Quite often I miss the edges sometimes and then I have to go back in and try and create the edge again. Lift it up. Oh, that looks cute. There we go. And these boxes are going to go under the Christmas tree. And I'm using them for decoration. But as I say, you can literally get some of these from the thrift store, the dollar store, and paint them all up and make them all pretty. And then put all your gifts in them. This one I'm going to do the Christmas tree. And I forgot to find, I've got this here. But I'm going to... I'm going to get out the star as well to put on top if it fits. Let's see if it would fit with the star on top. Yeah, it will. All right, so let's put the tree first. Get the ink on. I wish they had done a Christmas train one. My favourite thing after Santa's is actually... Uh, I collect Christmas trains and I just love Christmas trains. So I wish they had done one of those. That would have been on everything for my house. Okay, get the box straight because you want your Christmas tree straight. I'm going to put it low down here because I won't be able to put the star on top. Once you commit, see then. Now this one I find if you don't take your time and do every layer of the branches of the tree, it doesn't do well. So you've got to take your time on this one. So go. But also, again, don't move it, don't slide it, slip it. And just get all the edges. And again, I don't know why they didn't put a base. For this tree but I use uh, one of the other stamps in the same lot I use this comes in with the, the Christmas one and I just use this end little piece here as my little trunk for my tree so just put a little ink on it and then I just put that right at the bottom here just to give it a little trunk 
and then I'm going to look for the star and put the star on top. But what do you think of this one? I don't know if you remember when I did these mason jars earlier in the year. It was one of those videos that actually was uh, very popular, one of my best uh, viewed videos. Anyway, I'm now ready to bring them out and uh, to make them look pretty. So I'm going to kind of just measure here. I need how high I want things to be. And these are the actual twigs that I painted, spray painted. They were gold when I got them from the thrift store. And now oh, I'm spray painting them and putting them in my vase. So I'm going to do some more here. Let's see what I need shorter than that. So let's cut these up. Yeah, how about that? Oh, taking quite a bit to cut. I don't do floral often, so I don't really have the right tools to cut these, but let's get them cut. And the key is to just put in what you think will look good. Don't put too much, don't put too little. Let's see if that's going to be too tall on it. Uh, just a little. And I also picked up some of this from the thrift store to just kind of put in with it to blend with it. And let's see what that looks like. And I think I'm going to put a few more branches, but some regular branches. And then that will be finished. Let's see what regular branches we can find. I have now one more piece in there. I think it looks great. I'm liking it, so I'm ready to stage it up. This one, I'm just putting white in. I don't want to put anything other than white. I think that will look best. And so I'm just going to stage this one up. So the owl one, I have just filled up with some twigs. And I'm just going to go and stage this one up. Back to the tree and I'm just showing you as I move down to show the gift boxes at the bottom. Don't they look nice under the tree? You can do all kinds and as I say if you um, clear coat them you can keep them as decorations or you can just give them and put your little presents inside them for your family and friends. I have on the mantle all the mason jars. I go in close so you can see and then I'll step back. They have all different kinds of twigs, mostly whites. And then the middle one, I actually did Christmassy with some holly berries with the Santa one. I think they look great and would help decor any mantle or table, even the dining room table at Christmas time.
So I'm Julie from Rustic Cottage Co. Thank you for watching the, this week's video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you like. Please give the thumbs up. And if you've enjoyed it that much, I have many other videos that I've done. I do one every Monday. Um, so look out for the new ones in the future and go look back on some of the older ones because they are, some of them are just amazing. Um, I, I even kind of surprised myself. I have this vision and then when it comes in the end with the display and the staging, I'm like, wow, I did that, <laughs> you know? So uh, look at those too. So subscribe to my channel. I appreciate that and enjoy and get inspired. And I hope you like this video and let me know in the comments, which piece did you like best this week and why? Let me know. Thanks. I'm Julie. I'm Julie from Rustic Cottage Co. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and uh, thumbs up. Thank you.